Hello, and welcome to a Grab and Go put on by me, Christine, the teen librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, we will be doing DIY leech stamping. The materials you will need are a little black drawstring bag, a piece of thin cardboard, some corks, craft foam, a styrofoam plate, gloves, a pencil, glue stick, some scraps of felt, scissors, and bleach. Let's begin. This is one of our corks. It's about one and three quarters inches wide. So I'll need to design a stamp that fits on top of it. Let's draw something out. Our design has to fit inside the circle, but it also has to be something we can cut out from craft foam. It's a challenge of balance. I've drawn a little monstera leaf. I hope this will be a nice repeating pattern that I can stamp onto my drawstring bag. Now that I've got it drawn out, I'll draw it again onto my craft foam before cutting it out with my scissors. Alright, time to cut it out. There we go. One monstera leaf stamp. Break out your glue stick. Apply the glue to the cork. And to your craft foam. And stick her on. There we go. Let's wait for this to dry, and while we do that, let's make our bleach pad. The safest thing to do while handling bleach is wear gloves. It's also smart to do this somewhere well ventilated, and to not wear clothes that an inadvertent splash might ruin, as you'll see very soon. Bleach works quickly. Here is our container of bleach our little plate, and our felt pieces. There are two ways you can do this. You can either dip your foam pieces or just place them entirely in your bleach, or place them on the plate and pour some bleach over it, which is what I'm going to do. There we go, that's soaked in. Add a little more around the edge, and that is a stamp pad made of bleach and craft felt. Now here's our black cotton drawstring bag. This is what we're going to stamp our design on. To prevent the, the stamps on one side going through to the other, we're going to put a piece of cardboard inside of the bag. Let's get to stamping. You want to do a sort of tapping motion to pick up the bleach. I don't recommend dipping your stamp directly into a puddle or cup of bleach because sort of blobby puddle instead of a cute print. Tap, 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 tap. And stamp. Isn't that neat? I love it. It happens so fast. 
and turn so vivid right before your eyes. Let's keep going. I'm going to rotate my stamp and do the next row fit between the previous row. And there is my bleach print Monstera pattern. I think this, or this, is my best print. My first one went kind of blobby, and a lot of them you can't see the little stem on. That's pity. But we've got a whole nother side. You could do the same print on this side, or another one, since you have two corks, and each cork has two ends. I'm going to put this with each side down on top of this piece of parchment paper and do my second side. That was really fun. Here's my second side. Down here, this splotch is transfer from where my finger hit the bleach pad and touch the bottom. So there you go. Which side do you like better? Either way, whatever what we're going to do next is put this in some cold water and rinse it to stop the bleach from continuing to activate. After that, you can wash it in a washing machine or not. Just let it dry and you will have a charming drawstring bag that you did the bleach stamping on to pattern yourself. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed library activity. If you have, return to the library for more grab-and-go opportunities.